Welcome back to another installment of Julian's Random Projects. I am forever in pursuit of things to repurpose. <laughs> I don't know, like, I, there are some things that are just so beautiful that they are difficult to throw away, and I just, I just realized that I'm about to get one of those uh, um, naked eBayers in the teapot moments. There we go. Ju Julian has a face for uh, for podcasting. Wouldn't want any of you to be bothered with that. All right, so I have a difficult time throwing away the iMac. It is past its prime. Uh, the metric that I'm currently using to determine whether a computer is worth keeping for day-to-day -day use is will it YouTube. All right, so long story short, the G4 iMac the one that's running a PowerPC processor has passed its prime. Uh, is it is it great for some gaming? Sure, if you want to rock Halo, uh, the game this originally launched on, you could do that. Uh, if you want to run a bunch of educational software that was written during the time this thing was built, you could do that. Uh, but outside of that, it's just a beautiful, well, like easily articulating display at this point is all it's good for. And luckily enough, the TDMS standard that the display uses plays very nicely with DVI. So D DVI has TDMS uh, pins in it. And then better than that, the HDMI has DVI pins and H uh, TDMS standards uh, in it. And with a little bit of modifying, so no, no converter boxes or anything like just pin to pin uh, remapping of where this thing plugged into its original motherboard, you could get it rewired for HDMI, which is exactly what I've done with this one. If you saw in some of my previous videos, actually like years ago, I converted one of these to just be an HDMI monitor. I didn't do a how-to on it, you just saw it kind of in the background uh, to display stuff. So uh, that is this. This, is, uh, this was sitting, <laughs> it's so sad, it was sitting in a uh, a yard sale I did recently and no takers I even had like you know it had it out it was set up it was like super cheap five bucks please take this thing give it a new home nobody wanted it uh, so with some Lego pieces ie uh, maybe a uh, Raspberry Pi um, uh, some cheapest chips chargers some voltage regulators and maybe some batterias I don't know T still trying to decide whether we're gonna hardwire this to be uh, plugged into 110 or if we're gonna make it battery powered still undecided we're gonna try and get this thing repurposed uh, breathe some new life into this and make ourselves a retro apple pie stay tuned everything old is new again how true that is. Mmm, retail. Uh, down here we have the the adaptation of the original uh, TDMS signals into a female uh, DVI connector. And I chose this one because it has these male pins sticking out that you would normally run through a circuit board and solder. And they were just the right thickness where the original pins from the iMac would slide onto them. And so you get the pin out correct, which I'll put a link in the description if I can find uh, the original website when I made this mod. So I'm about to go rummage through my uh, drawer of adapters and see if I can find something a little bit shorter to go from here into the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so that'll be the next step. So this remote control is the same for 
the oh, this video games on, and this. So, who oh, Daddy said to open that box up that I was in. This one, this one right here. So, oh, I'm gonna hold on to this until he gets back. Oh, he's already back. Show, show on the controller? Yeah. Cool. All right, let's plug it in. When you fix it, can we play two player? You bet. Yes. There you go. Uh, so for not a lot of money, uh, a lot of these iMacs are popping up on Craigslist for free or for 40 bucks. Um, I would only pay 40 bucks if it was a really nice, clean looking one that uh, didn't smell weird. Oddly enough, the, the plastic is porous. It's, it's really, really uh, nice matte plastic, but because of that, it actually absorbs quite a bit of the odors that are in the household that it came from. I bought one of these from a smoker once, uh, and I just had to I just had to scrap it, uh, used a couple of the internal parts, but even those were a little funky. Uh, and then the other, the rest of the bomb is the Raspberry Pi, some sort of uh, amplifier, one that's a decent one. The first one I put in uh, was so crappy. It, it took the already crappy audio out of the uh, Raspberry Pi and amplified it, so that's not what you want. So what I ended up doing was going with a nicer amplifier that had the ability to set the gains with a jumper. Thank you, Adafruit. And I was, able to go into the game settings or the, the settings for the emulators uh, here inside the, the Raspberry Pi and I set the volume to the lowest it, it, it would still register and, and produce some decent volume and right, you can see here the uh, Raspberry Pi's USB ports exposed through the old CD-ROM drive so if you wanted to you could pull this down and connect in some you know keyboard or keyboard or mouse, whatever you want to do, or another controller if you've got multiple folks. Uh, I'm not sure how well the Raspberry Pi would would do with uh, multiple Bluetooth connections, but if it could handle it, th there's that. All right, I hope you guys have gotten a kick out of watching me breathe some new life into this old iMac uh, with a Raspberry Pi loaded up with RetroPie. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments what I could have done better and or different. I think the, the next logical step is to get rid of that cord there. Uh, maybe make this thing solar powered or battery powered where you just plug it in over USB to charge it and you can pick it up and take it around places because it's got this really cool neck. It's kind of just begging for somebody to grab it and go run around with it and maybe take it to some conventions, some uh, re retro gaming conventions and set it up, maybe 3D print some caddies for the, uh, for the controllers on the back side here. Uh, that'd be kind of fun. Maybe set them like that. Who knows? Let me know. If you guys want to see more more stuff like that. I'm hanging Thanks. in, there ain't no doubt. And I'm hanging tough over and out, over and out.